Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we heard the tragic ending of the story of Valva Torres and Artina. <laughs> Excuse me. And in this episode, we are going to uh, finish off Chapter 5 by going up against, who knows, probably Artina. Murder go round. Eh. <coughs> hey, there she is. <laughs> I thought it was getting rather noisy around here. Looks like you guys already defeated the boss in this area. Huh? We did? Tesco doesn't remember doing that. You must have been pretty weak, Sauce. I don't remember either. Did any one of us really do that? Seems like we must have beaten him sometime along the way to getting here. The boss of the bourgeois demons must not have been very memorable. But enough about that. Do you remember the promise you made to me earlier, my lord? Maybe it was those two basils. Of course. I will never break a promise. Eva, that promise requires that I defeat the angel when she gets in the way of us accomplishing our goal. I see where you're coming from. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> anyway, please excuse me now. I have to start heading over to my next target. Did you steal the money already? I doubt the largest vault in the area could be cracked so easily. I didn't steal anything. I thought I told you this is all completely justified. I didn't take a single extra help, so please watch your mouth a little better. If you ever treat me like a thief again, I'll sue you for slander and rake in a mint. Oh, she might actually shake me down if I keep talking. Dusko doesn't get an allowance, so Dusko will be quiet now. I'm really starting to doubt that this greedy angel is our team. Are we done now, or do you still have something to say? No, 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 we're done. It seems like we were completely mistaken when we thought you were someone I used to know. What a coincidence. I actually thought I used to know someone with an attitude just like yours. But you're right, it must have been a mistake. It's been a long time since then. We're done here. Let's go, Fenric. My lord, there's more for us to do. You haven't kept the promise you made to me yet. This angel isn't trying to obstruct us in any way. There's no need to get rid of her now, is there? I see. In that case... Hey, Angel, you want money, don't you? Then let me tell you something. We've got a bounty on our heads. Pretty high one. Yeah, he's definitely just jealous. A bounty? How much specifically? Exactly 10 million hell. I thought it was 10,000. How about it? If you defeat us and hand us over to the Corrupterment, it will all be yours. Well, well. That's very interesting. Hey, Finfin! -fin, what are you doing? Ten, ten million hell? Well, sounds like the Corrupterment has finally realized our true value. Don't fall for it! It's not true! Fenric is lying! A liar, a fraud. Only a final boss is allowed to do that. No, I'd say even a final boss isn't allowed to do that. Oh, dang it! Who the? Reward is a lie. It's still a 
that this woman will get in the Hello. way of serving the regime. They simply took the initiative in trying to eliminate a future problem for us. She is not wanted around here. Love is unnecessary for a man who will soon rule the world. Finfin, fin, do you, uh, swing that way? Ten million hell. I'll reach my goal in a snap with that kind of money. soon as she heard the amount and she's dual wielding cat guns that's just great love and courage aren't the only things that help you power up i must take note of this <laughs> huh? seriously oh, really gonna fight an angel nope we're gonna lose and trigger a bad ending woman is trying to get in our way. I appreciate this, Fenrir. As expected of my servant, this is the perfect strategy. All is for my lord. This woman is not her. She couldn't possibly be Artina. Artina would never act like this. So even if I defeat her, it shouldn't be a problem. Prinnies! Oh boy! Look at all these prinnies! <laughs> and here's Artina, the Angel of Avarice. I'll teach you a lesson! But I mean, we're kind of trying to lose here, so it would probably be best to lure her off of that, uh off of that merry-go-round so we can try to catch her. Pretty fusion! Pretty fusion! Pretty f That's not a pretty fusion, that's just an attack. <laughs> I was bamboozled! Bamboozled, I say! Hey, Artina, get over here. Am I going to have to send somebody to jump up there? Oh, is she just going to do that this whole time? That's decidedly lame. Oh, double attack! Uh, that's... Oh wow, he survived that somehow. That's... that's pretty great. Oh, yeah, I can totally make it up there, no problem. Let's just send our healer to... Take care of the rest. You have been captured, Artina! You have not been captured, Artina! <laughs> you took a little bit of damage. Yeah, you took a little bit of damage. Uh, somehow Valvatore survived that! Okay. But you know what? That is a-okay in my book. As long as, uh... As long as he gets KO'd before everybody else KO's him, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. <laughs> Mandatory repo!
And there we go. How could this be? Do you want 10 million health that badly? Yes, I need money. And I want 10 million health. That's the whole reason I had to defeat you. Now please, hand it over. Now what are we gonna do? This wasn't my idea, you know? I didn't expect her obsession with money to surpass my lord's power. What a shame. This was completely my fault. Yes, it was your fault, Fenric. Now Go shoot. Ahead and regret it all you want, but only after you fork over the prize money. Isn't it supposed to come from the corruptorment? Um, actually, the ten million hell was a total lie. Huh? Really? It's only ten thousand hell. What? That's not funny! Claiming that 10,000 hell is 10 million hell, that's 1,000 times worse than a normal lie! Even if God forgives you, or the Overlord forgives you, I will never forgive you! Indeed. You're absolutely right. Lying is as simple as breaking a promise. We must pay her the 10 million hell now that she has defeated us. But we don't have that much money! Lord Val! Glad someone still has moral values. How are we gonna get 10 million health? If you don't Grinding. have a way to earn the money, then you can help me do it. We're gonna be phantom thieves! Are you telling us to join you in your heists, thief angel? I'm collecting, not stealing. Do you want me to add 10 million more hell to your tab for being rude? 10 million hell, huh? This is going to be a long journey. Not necessarily. There's plenty of illegally leaked money here in the Netherworld. How much, specifically? Well, I'm estimating it to be at least 100 billion hell. 100? What kind of estimate is that? There's no time to chit chat. Let's start collecting. We are on route to the upper level area. We're cracking for knockers! This is how Valva Torres and his party ended up becoming the underlings of Volcanus, the Angel of Avarice, assisting her with her collection project. What was going to happen when Angel Volcanus collected enough money to meet her goal? Everything about that issue remained a mystery at the time. Please wait for me, Lady Archangel. I've almost reached my goal. Then, we'll be able to save the world, right? Mm, it's, it's a super robot! <laughs> also, hi, Flan. I can't wait to see the surprise look on everybody's face. <laughs> they are phantom thieves. That's hilarious. Well, okay. That's that's the thing we got going on. <laughs> oh, this is just a title theme. This is a boring credit song. Anyway, yeah, because we have a bad ending now, it is going to take a while for me to get back to that point in the game. Um, I'm probably going to reincarnate everybody up to the uh, up to the next tier of their uh, their their uh, class. I expect I will be uh, unlocking a couple of extra tiers in the process. So, uh, well, I hope to see you all then. <laughs> Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thingity thingy thing. Thingity thing thing thingity thing. Cycle six. <laughs> Crazy town. Alright. Bye bye everybody. <laughs>